Today we are going to discuss the Bryan coat of arms, but before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer professional genealogy research services at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. The first coat of arms to discuss, and the next several, actually most of them, have the same general form, um, three piles. The one we show here was born by Sir Guy de Bryan, who died in the year 1390. It was born at the Siege of Calais in the middle of the 14th century. He was an English military commander and admiral. He was summoned to Parliament in 1350. He was the son of a man of the same name who was of Walwyn's Castle in Pembrokeshire, Wales, and of Tor Bryan in Devonshire, England. And their origin is probably from Brion in France. Next, a similar coat of arms with a canton, born by Sir William de Bryan, who died in 1396. He owned manors in Somersetshire and was likely the son of Guy. Another for William Bryan of Bolingbroke, son of Thomas Bryan, merchant of the staple of Calais, granted a crest on April 10th, 1561. Another for William Bryan Esquire, who lived in the 17th century of Rotham in County Kent, son of John Bryan of Kibworth in Leicestershire. And we know he had a brother named Thomas. Another for an individual from Scar in Wexford, Ireland. Not sure, but my best guess on this would be James Bryan of Scar who was killed in a skirmish with Lieutenant Esmond during the siege of Fort Duncannon around the year 1641, and he had married Catherine Whitty, possibly, you know, one of his brothers or son or father, I'm not sure. Another for a Sir Thomas Bryan, who lived before the year 1500. Another with an has an annulet, which is a mark of cadency for the fifth son. Wasn't able to find this one, but without the border and without the annulet, it is that of one T. Bryan of Yorkshire, found in a document dated around the year 1510. Another with shown here with a field or, but with a field argent. And with quarterings, it was born by Sir Francis Bryan, born in the year 1490 of Blackfriars, London, and Ampthill, and Woburn, Bedfordshire, an English diplomat, chief gentleman of the Privy Chamber, and Lord Justice of Ireland, the son of Sir Thomas Bryan, the Vice Chamberlain to Catherine of Aragon, and grandson of Sir Thomas Bryan, born 1438, Chief Justice of the Common Pleas. Another from Devonshire and Gloucestershire. Another found in a heraldic roll dated 1471. Not sure on this, but it is, my guess would be the family of John Bryan, who died in 1490. Fishmonger, member of parliament, son of John Bryan, a prosperous fishmonger who purchased a considerable amount of property in the city of London, and rose to be an alderman of said city. Another quarterly or an azure on a Ben Gould's three shackle bolts of the first, found in a book dated around the year 1435. Another granted to Loftus Anthony Bryan, Esquire of Upton and Bormont in County Wexford, High Sheriff of Dublin, Ireland, in the year 1836, son of Reverend Isaac Bryan, 
the rector of Horton and County Wexford. And here we see the family estate, uh, Bormont House in Wexford. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com. Thank you very much.